What's up guys? This is uh, Ty Zen. I got the skinny with me. Say hello skinny. Hello, hello. Okay, so in this video guys, uh, I want to answer a few questions about the um, Ethereum investments, okay? Mainly the questions I want to answer in this video are, um, should you invest into Ethereum hard fork? Or should you invest into Ethereum Classic? Or should you invest into both? Or you should avoid them altogether? Okay, so I'll answer the last question first. Uh, should you avoid uh, uh, both of these? And the answer is no. You should have. Uh, you should look into investing into Ethereum, one or the other or both. Okay. So the first one is: Should you invest into Ethereum hard fork? Okay. Ethereum hard fork is the one that is led by Vitalik uh, and his team and the Ethereum Foundation. Ethereum uh, Classic is the project that is being led by Charles Hoskinson the former co-founder of Ethereum hard fork and so now we got two competing uh, uh, Ethereum blockchains one that's led by Vitalik and the Ethereum Foundation and the other one is Ethereum uh, Classic which is now it appears that as things are starting to formalize and starting to coalesce it's being led by the uh, Charles uh, Hoskinson uh, the CEO and the founder of uh, a company called um, IOHK, which stands for Input Output Hong Kong. They are a cryptocurrency based uh, company with, um, I think, like the last time I talked to him, uh, like four or five dozen employees. And they design, they, they specialize in researching and building cryptocurrencies for, uh, for businesses and for other people, right? So we got these two competing blockchains, one led by Vitalik and the other one led by Charles Hoskinson, both of whom are former. Uh, Ethereum co-founders okay we got the Ethereum hard fork which is about a dollar 20 cents right now I think and then we got the Ethereum uh, the Ethereum classic is a dollar 20 cents somewhere around there and then we got the Ethereum hard fork which is around twelve dollars so Ethereum hard fork has ten times more value than the Ethereum classic network okay so here are some of the reasons why you would invest into Ethereum hard fork versus Ethereum Classic, okay? The first one, um, the, the two biggest concerns I have about Ethereum hard fork is this, is that one is the legal issues from the DAO um, attack. Uh, I don't believe that the legal issues have been resolved with that yet. I still believe that there will be some, uh, uh, um, some type of uh, investigation regarding legal, uh, 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 um, uh, legal investigation regarding the um, the um, what do you call that regarding the uh, uh, the Dow attack okay I got this sign all in my face um, the second thing in addition to the legal investigations I believe that the the other thing that's gonna be a problem with the Ethereum hard fork is that it will transition into a uh, proof of uh, stake a consensus algorithm and when they switch over to the in order for them to switch over to the proof of stake from the current proof of work uh, algorithm that they have right they will have to do another hard fork and there's no telling what's going to happen during that second hard fork what's going to happen to the ethereum hard fork chain um, so that right there is a two huge concerns for me that is keeping me from investing into ethereum right now at the moment at the moment okay what's your thoughts skinny Okay, so here's my question. Yeah. When it hard forks yeah. to the new algorithm, yeah. what happens to existing Ether projects? Okay, so the existing Ether projects will transition over. Just go on. Yeah, and, and, and for sure, for sure this time, when they hard fork this time, they are going to make sure that they include in the code to kill off the, 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 the proof of work chain. The whole they will. Yeah, they will. For sure they will do that. See, they were they were they were so arrogant and so confident and arrogant that everybody would jump over to the Ethereum hard fork that they never thought to put in the code to not accept the Ethereum Classic, like right. the original chain to die off. They thought people would just automatically volunteer to just jump over to the hard fork version and just start using that and then just ignore the old chain and let it die out. That's what they thought, and that was a huge mistake. And that's how Ethereum Classic was born. Well, what's their reasoning for changing to a new proof 
uh, because they've said all along from the very beginning they, they've said from the very beginning everybody knows that that they were gonna use uh, uh, the uh, proof of work to get the project started uh, the consensus algorithm and just so in case uh, you guys are new to this the consensus algorithm is the the, the mathematical algorithm that they use to uh, agree upon that the transactions were correct before they get added to the blockchain okay so they want to get away from that because that consumes too much electricity plus it limits how many nodes how many uh, uh, miners are available to process all the ethereum uh, uh, transactions yeah. so by switching it to a proof of stake now the people uh, the, the algorithm is based on how many ethereum coins or tokens that you have in your wallet so when you turn on your wallet and if, if I have a thousand uh, 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 Ethereum hard fork tokens in my wallet, then it will start uh, mining and each one will serve as kind of like a lottery ticket. You know, so if you only have a hundred in your wallet, then the probability that I will find the next block is a lot higher than you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. And, and it also, it's, it's also designed to prevent like a 51% attack too, that's, uh, that is still available in a proof of uh, work. Uh, 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 blockchain and the reason for that is that let's say that if you own 51% of the network uh, of the uh, network tokens oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would be counterproductive it would be a conflict of interest for you to try to use all the tokens in your wallet to destroy the network yeah because, because then you would you, lose value you lose all your money yeah you'd lose the value of your tokens and so no one would do that right right whereas if somebody has a proof of work, if they have enough uh, uh, CPU power and graphics uh, 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 cards, they can overwhelm the system and, 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 and do malicious things to the system because it does not hurt their own uh, uh, financial stake. Yeah. Whereas a proof of stake system, um, uh, they, they want you to have a stake in the system. And if you have a bigger, the bigger the stake that you have in the network, the less likely that you will try to do something malicious and destroy the network. So that's why, and this is not new, okay? So I want you to be aware that the, the, the uh, proof of stake consensus algorithm is not new. They, everyone knows that from the very beginning. So that's not like a surprise. It didn't come out of nowhere. Yeah, but and, it still requires another fork. Yeah, it does. And the thing was, um, if, if it's a technical fork, no one has a problem with that. So I want to make that clear. Uh -huh. If it's a technical fork to improve the software, the problem that they had with the Dow hard fork was that it was a bailout. Yeah. It was a bailout for the company called Slocket who built the Dow software. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they built the software, it did not work as planned, and, and you know, Ethereum was advertised as, you know, immutable code, right? You can't change it, and it was uh, uh, advertised as to be unstoppable, uh, it's an unstoppable uh, computer network that will process the code and run it the way it was written. So, in a sense, it was a success because it did run the DAO code the way it was in written. The downside to it is that it was written poorly. Bad code. Yeah, it was bad code, so it, it ran it anyway. And that's how uh, there was a recursive attack where the DAO was drained of its money of like $30 million, something like that, right? And somehow the guys at Ethereum wanted to help with that. Yeah. So, the thing is, to get back on track on whether or not you should invest in Ethereum Classic or Ethereum Hard Fork, right is that the ethereum hard fork is um so those are the concerns that i have is that the legal issues is the number one thing that i'm concerned with and the second thing is that there's going to be another hard fork that's going to create more confusion uh and, and chaos when it comes out and if it's successful then obviously the price will go up but if it fails then the price will tank again and then you know over the long term uh, you know i believe that it will continue to go up but you know there's going to be an immediate term uh, intermediate term there where when the price drops you know, you take you have to take a lot of heat. Okay, the other thing that you have to consider is this, and and, and keep in mind that Ethereum Classic has none of those issues. Right. You don't have to deal with the legal issues because there was none, and then Ethereum Classic does not have any of the uh, the uh, hard fork issues up, uh, because they have chosen to remain on proof of work. Yeah, okay, but will there be any projects? Yeah. Once uh, uh, Charles Hoskinson puts out the new wallet and everything. In the, and he's gonna writ, uh, write the new uh, 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 um, um, the new uh, uh, wallet in a different coding language. I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. But once he gets that out, then and it stabilizes. And the other thing too is that with Ethereum hard fork, there's no limit on how many e ethers that the the system can produce can mint. Nobody knows how uh -huh. much is gonna be minted. So it's gonna be an unlimited supply right now. 
Whereas with Ethereum Classic, right now they're 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 they are uh, talking about you know they're organizing it to come up with a finite number so that everyone knows that there's going to be a finite number of uh, Ethereum Classic uh, uh, coins. Right. So it's not going to continuously just print new mint new coins forever. Yeah. Okay. So that's another uh, thing that you have to be aware of when you're comparing these two on what to invest in. The other thing too is this, right? Is that you have to ask yourself, right? With all these issues facing Ethereum hard fork, right? What, if you look at it, you have to ask yourself, right? Or I have to ask myself as an investor is like, what are, is, is Ethereum hard fork going to get a 10X return or a thousand percent profit faster than Ethereum Classic? What are the probability? What's the probability or the odds that that Ethereum hard fork will go from $12 to $120, that's a 10 times return, right, or a 10x return, versus Ethereum Classic going from a $1.20 to $12, which is another 10x return, right? And in my opinion, right now, everybody is building their software projects on top of the Ethereum network, the Ethereum hard fork hard network, fork. But, but as soon as Charles Hoskinson and his team finishes building out the wallet for uh, the Ethereum Classic wallet, right? I believe that every, there will be teams that will start to build on top of the, uh, uh, the uh, um, on top of the Ethereum um, uh, Classic uh, network. And that's when the value will start going up. So because the price of Ethereum Classic is so low, I believe that there's a better chance of Ethereum Classic going up 10 times versus Ethereum hard fork in the short term in the short term yeah okay so that's that's why I'm I'm loading up on Ethereum classic right now and just kind of holding out you know and my goal was to get uh, if, if Ethereum hard fork fell down to five dollars I would have gotten into it because to me that's the number I had was around five dollars to get into Ethereum classic but it, it never got that far it only got down to like six dollars and it went back up and now it's at twelve dollars Right. Okay, and it's okay. It's okay if I miss it. There's nothing wrong because I'm not going to hit every every one of them, right? Yeah. But what I can do is that I can invest into the ICOs that go on the projects that go on top of the uh, the uh, Ethereum uh, uh, hard fork network, such as like Melonport, which is a uh, Melonport is an asset management uh, platform or a hedge fund platform that they just did an ICO today, and it sold out in five minutes. Right, yeah. so I missed that. Leonfood.com missed that. We wanted to get into that, but we missed it. So the problem with that is that we don't. Um, it, it doesn't matter because there's so many ICOs, there's so many cryptocurrencies coming out that if we miss one, we're not going to cry over spilled milk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you just move on to the next one. Okay. You got to have an abundance mindset. You can't live in a world of scarcity. Right. Not not when you're trying to make a life-changing profits. Okay, so those are the reasons, guys, that I wanted to share with you guys about some of the things to consider when you're considering investing in, uh, in uh, Ethereum Hard Fork or Ethereum Classic. All right, so that will conclude this video. You got any last words, uh, Skinny? No, no, I'm excited to see new projects on the Classic chain. I mean, that would, that would be really neat. Okay. Well, that will conclude this video, guys, on uh, uh, Ethereum Hard Fork versus Ethereum Classic. And um, if you guys have not, uh, if you guys want to follow us and uh, get some more news and information as we do research on different cryptocurrencies, uh, go to cryptocurrency, go to www.cryptocurrency.market slash newsletter and sign up for a newsletter. And that's where we uh, send out all the new research and all the new uh, videos that I have when we come out with it okay if you have friends or family or relatives that are interested in um, investing in cryptocurrencies make sure you share our channel with them and uh, thanks for watching this guys and I'll see you guys in the next uh, video and the other one is Ethereum uh, classic which is now it appears that as things are starting to formalize and starting to coalesce it's being led by the uh, Charles uh, Hoskinson uh, the CEO and the founder of uh, a company called um, IOHK, which stands for Input Output Hong Kong. They are a cryptocurrency based uh, company with, um, I think, like the last time I talked to him, uh, like four or five dozen employees. And they design, they, they specialize in researching and building cryptocurrencies for, uh, 
for businesses and for other people, right? So we got these two competing blockchains, one led by Vitalik and the other one led by Charles Hoskinson, both of whom are former uh, Ethereum co-founders, okay? We got the Ethereum hard fork, which is about a dollar twenty cents right now, I think, and then we got the Ethereum, the Ethereum Classic is a dollar twenty cents somewhere around there, and then we got the Ethereum hard fork, which is around twelve dollars. So Ethereum hard fork has ten times more value than the Ethereum Classic network. Okay, so here are some of the reasons why you would invest into Ethereum hard fork versus Ethereum Classic. Okay, the first one. Um, the, the two biggest concerns I have about Ethereum hard fork is this, is that one is the legal issues from the DAO um, attack. Uh, I don't believe that the legal issues have been resolved with that yet. I still believe that there will be some, uh, uh, um, some type of uh, investigation regarding legal, rep uh, 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 um, uh, legal investigation regarding the um, the um, what do you call that regarding the uh, uh, the Dow attack okay I got this sign all in my face um, the second thing in addition to the legal investigations I believe that the the other thing that's gonna be a problem with the Ethereum hard fork is that it will transition into a uh, proof of uh, stake a consensus algorithm and when they switch over to the in order for them to switch over to the proof of stake from the current proof of work uh, algorithm that they have right they will have to do another hard fork and there's no telling what's going to happen during that second hard fork what's going to happen to the ethereum hard fork chain um, so that right there is a two huge concerns for me that is keeping me from investing into ethereum right now at the moment at the moment okay What's your thoughts, Skinny? Okay, so here's my question. Yeah. When it hard forks yeah. to the new algorithm, yeah. what happens to existing Ether projects? Okay, so the existing Ether projects will transition over. Just go on. Yeah, and, and, and for sure, for sure this time, when they hard fork this time, they are going to make sure that they include fork, okay? Ethereum hard fork is the one that is led by Vitalik. Uh, and his team and the Ethereum Foundation. Ethereum uh, Classic is the project that is being led by Charles Hoskinson, the former co-founder of Ethereum Hard Fork. And so now we got two competing uh, uh, Ethereum blockchains, one that's led by Vitalik and the Ethereum Foundation, and the other one is Ethereum uh, Classic, which is now, it appears that as things are starting to formalize, and starting to coalesce, it's being led by the, uh, Charles uh, Hoskinson, uh, the CEO and the founder of uh, a company called um, IOHK, which stands for Input Output Hong Kong. They are a cryptocurrency-based uh, company with, um, I think like the last time I talked to him, uh, like four or five dozen employees, and they design, they, they specialize in researching and building cryptocurrencies for, uh, for businesses and for other people, right? So, we got these two competing blockchains, one led by Vitalik and the other one led by Charles Hoskinson, both of whom are former uh, Ethereum co-founders, okay? We got the Ethereum hard fork, which is about a dollar 20 cents right now, I think, and then we got the Ethereum, the Ethereum Classic is a dollar 20 cents somewhere around there, and then we got the Ethereum hard fork, which is around $12. So Ethereum hard fork has 10 times more value than the Ethereum Classic network, okay? So here are some of the reasons why you would invest into Ethereum hard fork versus Ethereum Classic, okay? The first one, um, the, the two biggest concerns I have about Ethereum hard fork is this, is that one is the legal issues from the DAO um, attack. Uh, I don't believe that the legal issues have been resolved with that yet. I still believe that there will be some uh, uh, um, some type of uh, investigation regarding legal rep uh, 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 um, uh, legal investigation regarding the um, the um, what do you call that regarding the uh, uh, the Dow attack? Okay, I got this sign all in my face. Um, the second thing, in addition to the legal investigations, 
I believe that the, the other thing that's gonna be a problem with the Ethereum hard fork is that it will transition into a uh, proof of uh, stake a consensus algorithm and when they switch over to the in order for them to switch over to the proof of stake from the current proof of work uh, algorithm that they have right they will have to do another hard fork and there's no telling what's going to happen during that second hard fork what's going to happen to the ethereum hard fork chain um, so that right there is a two huge concerns for me that is keeping me from having any of the uh, the uh, hard fork issues up, uh, because they have chosen to remain on proof of work Okay, but will there be any projects? Yeah, once uh, uh, Charles Haskinson puts out the new wallet and everything, and the and he's gonna rip, uh, write the new uh, 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 um, um, the new uh, uh, wallet in a different coding language. I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. But once he gets that out, then and it stabilizes. And the other thing too is that with Ethereum hard fork, there's no limit on how many e ethers that the the system can produce can mint. Nobody knows how uh, much is going to be minted, so it's going to be an unlimited supply right now. Whereas uh, with Ethereum Classic, right now they're 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 they are uh, talking about you know they're organizing it to come up with a finite number so that everyone knows that there's going to be a finite number of uh, Ethereum Classic uh, uh, coins. Right. So it's not going to continuously just print new mint new coins forever. Yeah. Okay. So that's another uh, thing that you have to be aware of when you're comparing these two on what to invest in. The other thing too is this, right? Is that you have to ask yourself, right? With all these issues facing Ethereum hard fork, right? What, if you look at it, you have to ask yourself, right? Or I have to ask myself as an investor is like, what are, is, is Ethereum hard fork going to get a 10X return or a thousand percent profit faster than Ethereum Classic? What are the probability? What's the probability or the odds that, that Ethereum hard fork will go from $12 to $120, that's a 10 times return, right, or a 10x return, versus Ethereum Classic going from a $1.20 to $12, which is another 10x return, right? And in my opinion, right now, everybody is building their software project on top of the Ethereum network, the Ethereum hard fork hard network, fork. But, but as soon as Charles Hoskinson and his team finishes building out the wallet for uh, the Ethereum Classic wallet, right? I believe that every, there will be teams that will start to build on top of the, uh, uh, the uh, um, on top of the Ethereum um, uh, Classic uh, network. And that's when the value will start going up. So because the price of Ethereum Classic is so low, I believe that there's a better chance of Ethereum Classic going up 10 times versus Ethereum hard fork in the short term in the short term yeah okay so that's that's why I'm I'm loading up on Ethereum classic right now and just kind of holding out you know and my goal was to get uh, if, if Ethereum hard fork fell down to five dollars I would have gotten into it because to me that's the number I had was around five dollars to get into Ethereum classic but it, it never got that far it only got down to like six dollars computer network that will process the code and run it the way it was written so in a sense it was a success because it did run the DAO code the way it was in written the downside to it is that it was written poorly bad code. yeah it was bad code so it, it ran it anyway and that's how uh, there was a recursive attack where the DAO was drained of its money of like 30 million dollars something like that right and somehow the guys in Ethereum wanted to help with that yeah so the thing is to get back on track on whether or not you should invest in Ethereum Classic or Ethereum Hard Fork, right? Is that the Ethereum Hard Fork is, um, so those are the concerns that I have, is that the legal issues is the number one thing that I'm concerned with. And the second thing is that there's gonna be another hard fork that's gonna create more confusion uh, and, and chaos when it comes out. And if it's successful, then obviously the price will go up, but if it fails, then the price will tank again. And then you know, over the long term, uh, you know, I believe that it will continue to go up. But you know, there's going to be an immediate term, uh, intermediate term there, where when the price drops, you know, you take you have to take a lot of heat. Okay. The other thing that you have to consider is this, and and, and keep in mind that Ethereum Classic has none of those issues. Right. You don't have to deal with the legal issues because there was none. And then Ethereum Classic does not have any of the uh, the uh, hard fork issues up, uh, because they have chosen to remain on proof of work. Okay, but will there be any projects? Yeah, 
once uh, uh, Charles Hoskinson puts out the new wallet and everything, and the and he's gonna rip, uh, write the new uh, 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 um, um, the new uh, uh, wallet in a different coding language. I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. But once he gets that out, then and it stabilizes. And the other thing too is that with the Ethereum hard fork, there's no limit on how many e ethers that the the system can produce can mint. Nobody knows how uh. much is going to be minted, so it's going to be an unlimited supply right now. Whereas uh. with Ethereum Classic, right now they're 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 they are uh, talking about you know they're organizing it to come up with a finite number so that everyone knows that there's going to be a finite number of uh, Ethereum Classic uh, uh, coins. Right. So it's not going to continuously just print new mint new coins forever. Yeah. Okay. So that's another uh, thing that you have to be aware of when you're comparing these two on what to invest in. The other thing too is this, right? Is that you have to ask yourself, right? With all these issues facing Ethereum hard fork, right? What, if you look at it, you have to ask yourself, right? Or I have to ask myself as an investor is like, what are, is, is Ethereum hard fork going to get a 10X return or a thousand percent profit faster than Ethereum Classic? What are the probability? What's the probability or the odds that, that Ethereum hard fork will go from $12 to $120, that's a 10 times return, right, or a 10x return, versus Ethereum Classic going from a 